Good day and welcome to the channel. In this short video, we are going to demonstrate and review the product you see on your screen, WinX Video AI, which used to be called WinX HD Converter, you know, 10, 15 years ago. And what this product used to do is just convert videos from one format to another. But now it does all kinds of things with not only videos, but also with still images. So if you've got an old image and you want to clean it up, uh, this will do it. If you've got a video and you want to upscale it, it will do it. If you've got, and we will show you this, a video and you want to downsize it because it's just too large to say email, but you still want it to look great, this will do it. And by the way, it does a great job at that. It can do frame interpolation. It can do stabilization. It can record. We're recording on it right now with a green screen. So it does chroma key. Now, it, can you edit with it? Yes, you can, but it's really, it's not its main function. So before we get into this, the kind of the most important thing here is the cost of it. So this thing's about $45. So even if you're at minimum wage, let, and let's just make it up that it's $15 an hour. If this product can replace three hours of you using a million free tools and, and hacks to get around things, is it worth your while? Yeah, it really is. So this is ideal for YouTubers. This is a product that WinX uh, Video AI is ideal for corporate users. Uh, we're going to use it internally. So not to be too hyped up on the product, but we are really pretty impressed with it. We recently declined a review on a similar product because it really didn't do very much. This product is super easy to use. And you know, even if you're just using it for your family stuff, you can do it. You don't need to, you don't need much in the way of technical skill. Okay, so let's get into demonstrating the product uh, and its main features. And then we're gonna show you a couple of additional features like screen recording of things that you're not supposed to screen record and downloading videos from different sites, which I can't mention because YouTube will pull a video if I do that. So we'll pull a video from one of our corporate sites and you'll see it just does a great job with it. So let's get to it. So you download the software, it takes a few seconds, do the install. Uh, it doesn't come with any bloatware, which uh, we look for, we do a lot with security. Uh, and this is what you end up with when you launch it. Pretty straightforward, image AI, video AI, video converter, downloader, and recorder. The first thing we did is go into the settings. Uh, we wanted to move all of the uh, files to a, to, uh, to a different location than what the defaults are. So other than that though, the defaults were pretty good. Let's get to its main function. Let's go to video AI and we can just drag a video on. This is actually a digital video that I took about 20 years ago. Yes, I had a digital video recorder back then. And you can see on the left, it's a bit grainy. And on the right, it's been cleaned up. Let's make this larger so you can see the screen. And the better way to, to view this is to click the tab at the top here so you get the different view. And you can just go back and forth and see what things look like. All right, so I'm going to make this very short so we don't spend a lot of time. I'm going to make this about... Oh, let's go with five seconds long. And I could use frame interpolation to make this 60 frames a second. Currently it's 30, which you can see up in the uh, top right hand corner here, but I'm not going to because this is a demonstration. However, if you're a YouTuber, YouTube will give you more credit and increase your ranking if you're running 60 frames a second. And also in the future, a lot of things are 60 frames a second, so you might want to do it. Now, the way uh, interpolation works is, the system, in this case, WinX Video AI, looks at frame one and frame two, and it then looks for the deltas between the two, and it builds an entirely new frame that did not exist before. It's pretty cool. And that is how you go from 30, for instance, to 60 frames a second. Uh, also, we can improve the quality even further if we change the scale to, say, three times. Watch the number up here when I change this to three, right? And things will get a little clearer each time. Let's click Run. And you'll see that it uh, is being run on an Intel-based standard computer. It's uh, about a three-year-old Intel i7. It's a great CPU, but it does not have an NVIDIA or AMD GP GPU, uh, which means that its performance is not going to be as good as it could be if you have those uh, functions. Why did we choose this as opposed to our other rigs with NVIDIA and AMD uh, GPUs in them because we want to show you how this actually works in real life. This is what you're actually going to get. And you can see this is going to take some time to uh, to produce. Even this five seconds is going to take about five minutes for this video. So if you were doing this at home, you would just simply let it run overnight and be done in the morning if it, this was you know running a, a much longer video. 
Okay, that's done. So let's look at the original. What's that daily? Is it the first? And let's look at what WinX Video AI produced. What's that daily? Is it the first chocolate, chocolate of the day? So much better. Let's quickly go over some of the other features. We could have stabilized this. This one didn't need stabilization, but if it did, pretty easy. Just turn it on. It does two pass, which is really what you want. If you don't understand stabilization, don't worry about it. It's twice as long, but it will make a huge difference. Leave it on two pass. Now I could snap other videos together here by selecting add video and put them in here. As I said, you can use this as a bit of an editor. Editor, I wouldn't. It's really not its jam. Okay, now let's move out of video editing and go to image editing. Just drag things on. So let's go to this very old black and white picture. And again, I will change the display. Let's make this full screen so you can see it better. How's that? Night and day. Same handsome guy a few years later. Yes, it's my grandfather, by the way. Look at that. That was the original. That's what it is now. Here's another one with my grandmother, my sisters, and my favorite aunt in the whole world, Aunt Mary, from, uh, it seems like 100 years ago, 1973, it says. Now, just look at the detail on the barrel. All right, this is from a little trip to Niagara Falls, and the faces. Just look how much it cleans those up. It's dramatic. And here's another one uh, with my father in it, and I could barely recognize him in it. He had to... He actually had to point out which one he was. Now, by the way, my dad's this guy right here. And look at this. Wow! And when you go to export, you can say whether you want a JPEG or whether you want a PNG. And you can also specify the image quality, which in this case is really about the size of the image more than it is about the quality of the output. And the two things are obviously tied together. Look at something a little less ancient. Okay, enough of that. You get the idea with photos. Pretty amazing. All right, now on to video converter. This is very fast. So you can see that there are a pile of different options here. So I can say, well, I'd really like this to be for an iPod or whatever. You can also just look at the popular stuff here. So let's convert this WMV, which is Windows Media Format, to something a little more current and see what my options are, or I can click on target format, and I can say, well, this one's going to be for YouTube. And here's my quality settings. I'll just leave them at default for now. From a WMV to an MP4 using H.264 with AAC audio. Very nice. Just click on that and click done. It puts it down in the bottom here so it will remember it. And I can go into the codec here. And I can set things, so I can say things like, well, you know, I really want the quality to be better. So I'm, I'm going to do this with two-pass encoding. And you can see here I can add subtitles, What's that, I daily? can prop, I can add a watermark, I can do lots of fun things. And run. And watch how fast this gets converted. Done. So even on a slow, non-GPU'd machine, it converts it very quickly. What's that daily? There it is. So there are all of the different formats that you could possibly want in here. However, there is this little setting at the bottom here called Toolbox. And in Toolbox, there's all kinds of cool things like getting rid of the noise, merging videos together, splitting videos that are just too large so you can, you can send them in emails or whatever else. Compress. So I'm going to click Cancel on this, and I'm going to start this whole thing again by dragging over a much larger video. Here's one that's 900 meg. Now the quality of this one is not great because of the way I've recorded it. This is not about quality, this one's about size. So this is 900 meg. Now look at this. I can go into table format, I can go all the way down to toolbox, or I could just click toolbox along the bottom here. And let's go down to compress, and we'll leave it on this uh, quality default quality setting, click done. Now compress shows up there. And if I go into the options on the right here, so they can set that 900 meg file down to being 90 meg. And I can also change the screen resolution. So let's just make it a little smaller just because we can. And you can see here, we'll make it uh, relatively small and I'll click done, click run. And you can see here, this is encoding at uh, 80 frames a second, pretty fast. Okay, so let's go to 
Downloader. We can pull video from one of our sister sites. So here's a video we have that we weren't able to post on YouTube because of its content. And so we put it here. And uh, so let's just grab the address from the top, from the address bar. And here we'll click Add Video. And we can either put the video uh, in specifically, or we can just put the web page in that contains the video. We'll click Analyze. And bingo, there it is, it found the video. And I can click on that video and then select download and it will just pull it down as soon as I click that link right there. It'll be down in a couple of seconds. Done. Let's go back and go to recorder. Now at the start, we used this for a green screen. We used it for chroma key. Clicked screen and webcam and clicked on record screen while showing face cam. And we selected the color we wanted to be transparent. Clicked record and we were on our way. Let's show you another thing you can do with this. That isn't necessarily the coolest thing to do, but I'll show it to you because it's possible. So here is a video from our online TV. And most video solutions won't let you record this type of content. It's blocked. But I can go in to record the screen and I'll probably want to turn off the mic, otherwise I'll get an echo. So I'll just want it from the system. I can select crop. So I get it down to a particular screen size and let's move it to here. And then back, uh, click on that and drag this out of the way and I'll click record and then click play. Xi Jinping doesn't want a more And I can just click through this. Influence. A more and there it is. You can see I clicked through it and it recorded it beautifully. That's something you can't normally do with screen grabbing software, but you can with WinX Video AI. Okay, so we've shown you how WinX Video AI is cheap. It can get used for video conversion. It can get used for, well, AI tools to clean up video and stills. Uh, you can download content from sites that maybe you should, maybe you shouldn't. And all of these things are simple. These can be done by non-professionals. If you're a home user or a, you know, a beginner YouTuber, this will work great for you. This is not hard. And for $25 for one year or $45 for a lifetime, it's pretty cheap. So what don't we like about it? Not a whole lot, um, but about the only thing we've seen so far from using it is when you go into any of the features, let's go into this recording, you'll see this members only offer, which takes you to a web page that is trying to sell you some more things. Okay, fine. That's not the end of the earth. Sometimes when you launch it, there was a, there's a pop-up explaining that uh, there's a you know promotion on. This is pretty minor. So for $45 for us, for a lifetime license, this is a deal. Uh, can we recommend it? Highly, yeah, this thing is great. We are going to use it internally, and I will also be showing it to, sue, to some of our corporate clients who have particular tasks that they will find this useful for, for cleaning up old images, for cleaning up old videos. And in our case, we have a client in particular that really needs to downsize a bunch of video to be transmitted to some of their field staff. And WinX Video AI is ideal for it. So, hey, look, if you found this video useful, please give us the big thumbs up. We would really appreciate it. It really helps with the Google algorithms. If you have any questions or concerns, leave a question or a comment below. And if we don't get back to you, somebody else will. Because on YouTube, everybody has an opinion. Hey, thanks and have a great day. Bye-bye.